70-year-old Sherry Zolakani sits on a bench as she waits for clients for her private counseling session at the Friendship Bench in Harare. She speaks gently, offering accessible therapy with a warm and reassuring smile. A lot of people are getting help here. The old and the young come here with their problems. We are also helping the young who are struggling with drug abuse. Decades of economic hardship and deepening poverty have taken a mental toll on many Zimbabweans, imposing a huge burden on underfunded and understaffed psychological health services. This is what forced a Zimbabwean doctor to come up with a novel way of providing desperately needed healthcare therapy for his poor countrymen by using lay healthcare workers referred to as grandmothers. Professor Dixon Chibande's concept is simple, a wooden bench where people experiencing common mental disorder sits and receive free therapy. Because the mission of the Friendship Bench, which has always been my mission, is to take people out of depression. But our big ambitious uh, vision is to have a Friendship Bench like this within walking distance everywhere, not only in Zimbabwe, the whole world. The fallout from the COVID pandemic has seen a spike in mental health problems and WHO estimates that more than 300 million people across the globe suffer from depression. The friendship bench has helped bridge a shortage of professional healthcare workers in Zimbabwe. The country has only 14 psychologists, 150 clinical psychologists and less than 500 psychologist nurses serving a population of 16 million people. But now the therapy is being exported to FIFA World Cup in Qatar later this month. So at the World Cup, there will be 32 benches representing the competing teams. Uh, and this is a symbolic way of really illustrating the need for all of us, not only people attending the World Cup and not only the, the participating teams, but all human beings to find a way of connecting with each other, you know, and the best. The World Cup project in partnership with WHO, whose chief has praised the initiative as a simple yet powerful vehicle for promoting mental health. Other countries that have adopted the friendship bench model include Jordan, Kenya, Malawi, Zimbabwe, and the U.S., where 60,000 people have accessed the therapy. I came to a point where I wanted to commit suicide because I had been blessed with twins and I had nothing to give them since I was unemployed. From just 14 grandmothers in Bari, Zimbabwe's oldest and poorest township, at the start in 2016, there are now nearly a thousand benches and over 1,500 grandmothers in different localities. Victor Wanaswa Mwanzo TV.